this is the kid right here and he has joint ill look at the knee very swollen so i'm going to have to give this kid some sort of antibiotic but before that i'm just going to be giving the kid some vitamins all right to help with the pressure Don't give him the entire mixture. So this afternoon again, come again and give him the rest. All right. So hope to see this little guy better in a couple of weeks. You can see the diarrhea right there. All right. You can see that he has diarrhea. So you will see the healing process as I go through. And give him this mixture all right before I consider giving any injections to the kid I'm going to first try old school remedies so this is Canadian healing oil so I'm gonna rub it on the knee that is affected by the joint ill <laughs> this is how we hold goats you know in position between the legs, just hold them like that. Mm. Yeah, man, skill. Alright, let us see how that works out. As you can see, it's not that bad, you know, but yeah. One day later. Yeah, as you can see, the joint, um, the joint ill in this kid is really bad. This kid um, had an issue with his navel when he was younger, right? So I think from that, that is that is where this stem from because you know the joint ill with the animal it enters <clears throat> once the animal has a cut or like through the navel when the animal is young that's how they get the joint ill you know so um, it's caused by the streptococci bacteria so i'm gonna give this goat an injection soon um because he's not all that bad you know but as I can see, it doesn't have any diarrhea or anything like that. No. Um, but his, his, his joints, his joints, the back legs are okay. But the front legs are in total pain. Cannot stand for me at all. See? Cannot stand. Watch that. Very sick. Two front legs.